can work with uh, multiple raw materials. They all tend to be polyolefins. These are basically your common uh, polyethylene, high density, low density polyethylene. And we can use polypropylene. Uh, we use absolutely no PVC. Um, and these plastics can be commingled. In other words, we can use a mixture of them. Uh, they can be any color, any shape. Um, the plastic is basically uh, ground up if it comes in film form to make it into flakes. The product then has to be densified into a you know, smaller volume, higher density, bulk density material. It is then mixed with, uh, with the rice and we can use uh, rice hulls anywhere from 10% to 70%. So depending on the, on the attributes of the finished product, we will change the amount of rice content. And it has a very interesting property that rice hulls contain a lot of silica. Silica is a mineral. It's a very tough, very abrasive mineral. So when we, when we use this in our product, it gives it a, it gives it a great toughness. Also against abrasion resistance because our product is going to be used on platforms on the ground. So you have bulldozers riding over these things and if it were plastic, it would basically eat it up. This way it gets so strong. The products, these two ingredients are combined. Occasionally we may use some uh, calcium carbonate as well. Uh, if we use raffia, which is basically polypropylene with calcium carbonate, then the carbonate is already there. And so these products are combined into our what we call our reactor. that product melts it applies enormous pressure but when it comes out it's like a molten mass and the cylinders are filled with chilled water and there's cooling things on top at the bottom to remove the heat so it becomes hard again <laughs> 